Hi, my name is Cecily and I'm a vocalist, a songwriter and a vocal coach from Washington, D.C. And all I ever wanted was to live before I die Cause there's a river in me And it pushes my feet And I'm certain for one motion Cause there's an ocean in me Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you would, put your hands together for Miss Cecily. Thank you very much. My ideal career will be long. So I would like to be singing until I die, or until I no longer want to sing anymore, which I don't know why I would want to do that. There would be a lot of traveling. I love to travel. Lots right. of international travel, meeting different people. I also st I studied international relations when I was in college, and so I've always wanted to find a way or to figure out a way for myself to like kind of meld those two things, Incorporate. like the music, yeah, do the music, and somehow using music and diplomacy. So somewhere along the way, I'd like to do some of that as well. Lots of performing, lots of songwriting just do it for as long as I can. So last year I put out my first EP, which is basically just a short album, and had five original songs on there. And this year I put out the first music video from that project. It's for a song called Real Love, um, which is my personal favorite song <laughs> this album. Um, and it's just like a quintessential love song, but I think that it's a well-written love song. It's not like a cotton candy cheesy love song. It's about right. the trials you go through when you're trying to be, commit to someone and be with someone and how ultimately it just comes down to the love you have for one another that enables you guys to always work it out and stay together and be there for each other. I'm so far away, but you can trust It's also kind of about like realizing that you deserve that kind of love. It's mm -hmm. like unconditional in a lot of ways. Um, and so yeah, the music video is I think really beautiful. It was directed it by a friend of mine from college. Thank you. <laughs> it was directed by a friend of mine from college named uh, Tyree Chapeau, who also did my last music video. And it shows a couple who's living together and they end up getting engaged and they want to plan this big fancy wedding. But you know, they might not have the funds to do it, which is a reality for a lot of couples. And so I just wanted to show um, a young black couple like being there, supporting each other, communicating, and ultimately making decisions that are best for them and their lives and kind of not being interested in all the grandeur and all the material things mm -hmm. that people like to show off when it comes to their wedding and all that. Not that there's, there's anything wrong with that, if that's what you really want and that's what you can afford, but I think that putting that on a pedestal is completely missing the point. So I really wanted to release something that talked about that. Um, and then upcoming things, I'm working on a new project that I'm currently writing. And so I'm just in the process of writing new material and trying out new material on live audiences and. Um, figuring out what producer I want to work with and stuff, so it's been cool so far. It's been cool. I, I have some songs I really like, so I'm looking forward to sharing them more with people. That's awesome, yeah. No, I can tell you've got a lot going on now. This is the lightning round. I was like, well, it's not okay. going to really be a lightning round because I had to think of the questions myself. <laughs> What's your favorite type of music? Soul music and R&B, okay. specifically from the 70s. Favorite type of film? I like real life dramas. Yes. You cannot beat that. <laughs> nightclubs or bars? I'd rather dance than just sit and drink. So okay. It's a nightclub. Club. I don't like to have to get dressed up to do it. So <laughs> it's more contradiction. Low <laughs> Favorite type of alcohol? Cognac. Cognac. Ooh, fancy. Apples or oranges? Apples. Why? Love, love apples. Why? It's so good. <laughs> <laughs>
No, like I'm very passionate about local apples. They're really good, especially from Pennsylvania. They're so good, and they they're uh-huh. really big. A lot of them are big. I, uh, like, apples. I like the small ones. I like the, <laughs> the smaller the apple. Like if they make like berry sized apples, I'll eat them all day. But if you give me <laughs> giant apples, I like take I one bite and I'm like, uh, uh, too much. I like it when they're really crisp. And oh. well, where I went to school was in Pennsylvania, <laughs> and they always had local apples in the cafeteria. And I'll like steal like six of them joints. said only take two. I was like, Psh, no one's looking. It's probably a reason <laughs> you're <laughs> more healthy than I am. <laughs> That's oranges cool. Are cool too. Yeah, I love me some oranges. It's so hard to peel. Apples are just so like. All you gotta to go do to is gotta do stick nothing. one nail inside of it, and you're good to yeah, go. Yeah, you got to suck your nails the rest of the day. Yeah, oh, no. Like orange. If you have more. <laughs> That's a small price to pay for the taste of an orange. <laughs> yeah, maybe if I lived in Florida. Yeah, they're really good down there. <laughs> What's like the longest you've been on the road? Not long. Still keeping it local right now? Yeah, I've been mostly keeping it local. The most I'll do is I'll go to like a different city for like a night and then come okay. back type of thing. Yeah, for the most uh, part. Do you want to do touring? I mean, I mean obviously, that's a yeah. silly question. That well, some people don't like touring. I know a lot of musicians who don't enjoy really? touring. Really? Have no interest oh, in touring. I can't imagine any musician who wouldn't want to tour. It's really hard on your body, and it's yeah. hard to eat well, and you miss your family, and yeah. especially as people get Music. older, older like most people over thirty don't want to tour unless they just do it to make money. I'm going to be doing the second part in my what I'm hoping is going to be now an annual thing of my show Cecily Salutes DC, where I um, take a moment um, one evening to express my gratitude and also to offer people information and through music about artists who came from DC or who spent a lot of time in DC who were influenced by the culture or who influenced the culture in their own way. Um, last year I paid tribute to Duke Ellington and Roberta Flack and um, Gil Scott Heron and Eva Cassidy and many others. And this year, I'm gonna to return to some, a few other people. I really like to take the time to not only like give a show, but also to kind of start a conversation around how the city's changing as well and mm-hmm. how we can hold on to the history and also keep it relevant for today. One of my favorite quotes is by Khalil Gibran and it says, um, God said, love your enemy. So I obeyed and I loved myself. And that's one of my favorite quotes because you're always gonna mess up and you're always gonna blame yourself and it's really easy to get caught up in shame and regret and guilt and feeling like you're not good enough. Um, and not even wanting to try because you don't think you're gonna be perfect. Um, and so, I encourage everyone who is an artist in particular, I think that every human being is an artist in their own way, but if you choose to make a creative life your your career, um, always love yourself most and always love yourself first. Even though you're always told to take care of others before ourselves and stuff like that, which is definitely important, but as a creative person, if you don't honor yourself and love yourself, then there's no way you can create anything that's gonna be honest, in my opinion. I just try to give people a space to feel vulnerable and get back in touch with themselves through music and really feel like the healing vibrations of the music. So I hope that you find a moment today to be vulnerable with yourself and enjoy something that makes you vibrate higher, whether it be music or even silence. My name is Cecily and I am a golden face.